Hello friends, so uh, continuing with our trend on solutions of triangles in this session we are going to understand what is projection formula. This is going to be used uh, a lot in vector algebra and calculus later on and anyways in geometry and in trigonometry also um, this formula is very helpful in solving lots of problems. So let's understand what projection formula is and why, we do, why do we call it as a projection formula. Now projection formula talks about a triangle and in triangle ABC let's say A small a small b and small c are the three sides opposite angle A, B and C respectively. Then A is given as B cos C plus C cos B. B is given as C cos A plus A cos C and C is equal to A cos B plus B cos A. First of all understand how do we write it because uh, that will be interesting you know and uh, to remember also you need some kind of a mechanism. So if I'm writing A then while writing A there will not be any angle A right and it will be B times so A the other two sides are B and C so it will be B times cos C and C times cos B so you can see uh, B and the uh, other angle C right and here it is C and the other angle is B like that. Now while I am writing B there will not be any angle B on the right hand side so C cos A plus A cos C it's a cyclical stuff here. Now similarly C is equal to a cos b so if you're writing the side a then you have to take the other angle so there are two angles two sides involved isn't it a b and capital a and capital b you have to just remember that cos is there in the equation so a times cos b and b times cos a like that you have to remember okay and if you see it's very easy also to you know prove uh, it and then hence uh, no need to mug up uh, mug it up as such you will solve multiple problems and that's the best way actually to remember any formula okay so now if you see I can write uh, a is equal to BD plus DC isn't it now to you know make it clear there are two cases this is case one where it is a it is an acute angle triangle acute triangle and here it is an obtuse triangle so in both cases the formula should work correct now I have dropped a perpendicular AD on BC in both the cases. In this case it is BC extended, in this case BC extended and AD is perpendicular to AD is perpendicular to BC. Um, yeah. Now if you see in case 1 A is equal to BD plus DC. Now clearly if you see BD upon BD upon C is equal to cos of angle B isn't it. So clearly BD will be equal to C times cos B. Correct. And similarly in triangle ADC if you see consider um, DC upon DC upon DC upon AC or B. AC is B is equal to cos of C. So this implies DC equals B cos C. So from 1 and 2 directly you can say A is equal to BD which can be written as C cos B and dc which can be written as b cos c so hence this relation is proved right similarly the other two can also be proved very easily with similar arguments let's see what happens in case of obtuse angle now in this case what is a guys a is nothing but dc minus bc sorry dc minus db isn't it dc minus db right now dc dc upon dc upon ac that is b is if you see it's nothing but cos of c right so dc can be written as b cos c b cos c am i right so dc is equal to b cos c right similarly if you now see uh, db upon db upon c in this triangle let's say this angle is theta is cos theta now cos theta is cos of 180 degrees minus 180 degree minus 180 degree minus angle b is it so cos pi minus theta or 180 minus theta is minus cos b correct so hence db db is equal to minus c cos b 
isn't it my dv is equal to c cos b so hence now i can find out uh, a so a is equal to dc which is b cos c minus db so minus db is minus c cos b correct so hence you get b cos c plus c cos b is it so this is how if you see in all the two cases you know, both the two cases actually the formula is same so a is equal to b cos c plus c cos b that's called projection formula why is this called a projection formula is simply this that uh, if you have imagine like that uh, that if you have a floor and you have a um a stuff or a you know linear object like that maybe a pen or a pencil or whatever and let's say you throw light from top okay from top so what would be the shadow like the shadow would be something like that isn't it this much this much for this part of the so this will be the shadow length so if this is b and this angle is c let's say angle c so this will be b cos c is the shadow of this part which part let's say this is a so shadow of ca will be of length b cos c similarly you can extend it on the other side let's say this is b now this is b so this angle is b and this side is c let's say so shadow of if you throw light here also the same let's say that you have a laser light so the sh shadow length of ab will be c cos b so we say that this length c cos b is nothing but the shadow length is the projection of what ab onto this line okay hence this is called projection formula so hence projection of ac or in other words uh, if you are a very you know if you are looking at ab ac from top it would appear to be of this much length this month length from top so that's called the projection of ac onto this line let's say this line is x x dash okay so the proje projection of projection of ca on x x dash is nothing but b cos c right so hence uh, because we are using the concept of projection here to express one side in terms of the other so hence we call it as a projection formula hope you understood this